Critical Mass for November 8th, 2015. Having a pet is like having a child who doesn't speak. Now, a couple days ago, we were baking, and my mother dropped something. It was a piece of rubber, looked like a horseshoe upside down. It kept all the measuring things together. It disappeared. I thought Peanut ate it. And so it bothered me. I forgot about it. Well, today, Peanut started throwing up about eight times to be exact. Food, everything, last night, whatever. And it all came back to Back in 2010, Peanut at a dog park near Lincoln Towers on the Upper West Side of New York City, where she lived, had swallowed a small tennis ball that girl had, and she was playing with it. And I was like, oh, you know, Peanut won't do anything. Well, Peanut ended up eating it and threw up like 20 times that day. And I'd taken Peanut to the vet, and the vet told it wasn't coming out. And Peanut, the vet told me that Peanut would be dead within 24 hours. So Peanut got surgery. I don't know, cost three, four thousand dollars. I didn't have the money. I put it on a credit card, but that's what I did. I didn't even think twice about it. And um, so I got came back all over again. So we were debating to take her or not, and my dad goes, "Just take her in." So you know, you, you know, either way. So did a full X-ray. Ends up that she didn't swallow it. Thank God. But it scared the shit out of me. And she was out of it all day, and I, she's still not supposed to eat now, so. <laughs> and uh, I thought about it. I thought, you know, what if it's, oof. Thank God they got, thank God it wasn't there, you know? Knock on wood. So, you never know. Every day is something different. And Peanut's been through a lot. A lot. She lives, lived cross countries, lived here. Like, when I got her... You know, she's probably abused. Who knows what the hell the people put off Craigslist and people had a p papers in Polish, but they didn't have any information on it. Said she was only three months. She was probably six. They asked me today how old she was, and I'm saying, thinking to myself, 2007. So I did the math. I said, yeah, probably, yeah, almost. Oh, eight. I said nine. Yeah, she's eight and a half. I guess I don't know. Doesn't matter. And then I just read in Sports Sunday an article about. Lorenzo Maudlin IV, who plays for the Jets, defensive tackle, or defensive end, whatever, from Louisville. He had a sack today, actually, but that's, that's not important. The life this guy grew up with, dude, we, I had nothing, nothing to worry about. You know, my worst day, nothing, I mean, foster homes, mother in prison now, dad in prisons, seen his pops three times in 20 years. What they say, the, the percentage of foster care people that graduated high school was like 15% and those to go oh, to get a high school degree. I think foster care in Georgia was 15% and to get a college degree was 2%. He did both. He's playing in the NFL now. Something just kept him going, you know, you know, that's what that's the thing with acting. You know, I mean, I, I you have to everything you, re, you read relates to something. You get knocked down, you get back up, you get knocked down, you get back up because all you hear is no. No, 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 no. You get some jobs sometimes, but mostly it's no. Or, you know, and this this guy, God bless him. And uh, he, on the back of his jersey, is Lorenzo Maudlin IV because he's carrying the name. And he says if he's a child, he's going to name his kid Lorenzo Maudlin V because he wants to carry the name on. So, just amazing. Just freaking amazing. And uh, I, was, I was sitting on the floor with Peanut today, and she was sitting next to me, and I just was trying to make her feel calm and everything, and... It was scary. It was. I was trying to just stay. I was like, just stay calm, you know? Everything's going to be, whatever happens, happens. Nothing I can do anymore, you know? We're going to keep her out of the kitchen from now on because she's, everything that falls, she tries to eat. So she can't eat now, and she's whining. She wants to eat right now, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> so Walking Dead tonight, I taped the Donald Trump, but I'm probably not going to watch it. I watched like two minutes of it. I just couldn't, so, um... Just, you know, it's Sunday. Just uh, be thankful for what we, I'm thankful for what I have. I got, you know, my health. Peanuts okay. Got a roof over my head. I ate dinner tonight. I'm down a thousand, right? <laughs> so everybody have a good night. And uh, peace out. All right. Take it easy.